There are lots of different rooming house types out there. I personally manage and own mostly ones catered toward young professionals. With the four basics, which are student rentals, generally 18 to 23 year olds, often close to college campuses. It makes a lot of money because parents often co-sign the loan, so it often feels very guaranteed though the personalities can be a bit iffy to work with. Young professionals, 25 to about 40 years old, a little bit more familiar with rooming house environments. They only have really great jobs, so the rent they pay is really nominal in how much they make. Then you have assisted living facilities, which often are guaranteed by some sort of program or maybe an operator who actually runs it, so you're not even doing really anything in the property. And then the one that I probably like the least is what I call slum rentals, like a six bed, one bath, where they cut out the kitchen, they cut out the living, and make that all bedroom. It's even common for some of these to have like 12 bedrooms in a single house with one bathroom. And then they just rent all these rooms. And that's generally your lower income sort of neighbor.